everybody. Future Zach here. Welcome back to our next Spring Break Panama City Beach, Florida vlog. Thank you so much for those of you coming back. And welcome to those of you, if it's your first time viewing the channel. This is going to be part two in our Spring Break series. I'm sure you'll be able to find part one if you want to go back and watch that one for some really interesting cuisine and food. Um, today, this is going to be just one full day you're going to see. It's pretty awesome. We spend some time at the pool. We go to a brand new restaurant in PCB, and then we finish off by going to a golf course, mini golf course, that we'd never played before. Um, this video, uh, it's subscriber shout out, goes to Kathy Quebec, aka Grammy. Uh, Grammy, we know that you watch each and every one of these videos, and we truly, truly, truly appreciate your support. So thank you very much for watching the channel. And without further ado, take it away, past Zach. Good morning from the pool. We are out here. If you can't tell, it's another overcast day. Temperature right now, probably about 75, 76 degrees. Feels pretty good. But we are out here at the pool. We stopped last night and got some pool toys for the boys. So they've got a football, they've got some diving rings, they've got some squirt guns since, you know, dad of the year here somehow left all the pool toys at home because I think we took them out of our pool bag when we went to the water park at the Smokies. So neither one of the boys wanted to head down to the beach this morning. Um, you know, I wasn't going to fight them. We're going to do whatever they want to do. Their vacation. So, we're having fun at the pool for a little bit this morning. I actually caught one a little while ago. Chad, I don't think, has even gotten in the water yet. Ty is having the time of his life. Call this a little flag football practice. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just throw and catch, throw and catch. Now we've traded in our football for our water guns. Chad still mostly dry. Ty's been in the water the whole time. After spending some time at the pool and hanging out inside the condo for a little while, we've reached our dinner destination right over here on the beach. And that's Senior Frogs, which is fairly new. So we'll have to try this out see how it's so we're sitting right on the porch the beach is right there got Ty and Chad we got the party animal here at the end of the table you can see they've got stuff up on the ceilings they've got the music blasted again we come early because it is spring break so we try to beat the crowd show you guys the menu. It has been a long time since I've eaten at a Senior Frogs. I've never eaten here. And the Senior Frogs that I've eaten at was in Mexico. So this is the first time here for this one in Panama City, which is still fairly new. Everything looks to be a little more expensive than what we've been eating the last few nights. Doesn't really come as a surprise, honestly. That sounds pretty good. I have to help Chad figure out what he wants in a minute. Grilled Caesar salmon. Grilled Caesar salmon. Grilled Caesar salmon is what mom would want. You're probably right. Hey, look, it's Kermit. That's seen your frog. No, that's Kermit. Here's a list of all of the various locations that you can find. Senior Frogs. 
believe that, that the last time I ate at a Senior Frogs, it was in Nassau, in the Bahamas, on a cruise. We stopped in and ate there um, on our very first cruise we ever went on. And so, of course, this is where we are, but they also have one in Orlando. I did not know that all the times that we've been going there. One in Myrtle Beach. That kind of seems out of place. Um, and Vegas also doesn't surprise me, but definitely probably the only one of these that's not like beach themed and then all of the various Mexico locations and the Cancun one is the other one that I have been to but that is many 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 years ago we didn't see it anywhere on the menu but our server asked us you know if we wanted this as an appetizer but good old just chips and queso and I may have glossed over it on the appetizer section but both of the boys Nana and myself we're all eating uh, Mexican food off the menu, so you gotta have some chips and queso. Chad's all upset now. Why? They, they just came on the speaker and Rick rolled us. We're getting Rick rolled at Senior Frogs. <laughs> and this is what we're dealing with food wise. Chad got a bean and cheese burrito. You can see a cross section of it right there. And it came with potato chips. And then. It also came with chips. Yep. And then Nana got a um, chicken bowl. She got chicken and rice and pico de gallo. And then Ty got pretzel bites, which was an appetizer, but he loves pretzel bites, so he wanted to as his meal. And then I also got a burrito, like Chad. I got a carne asada burrito. I went with this instead of getting the Mardi Gras pasta. Since everybody else was getting Mexican, I felt like I'd get something Mexican. So carne asada, steak, there's rice, there's cheese in there. Um, and then there would be guacamole and there would be pico de gallo, but yours truly is not a fan. This is what they called a morita sauce. So I'll dip it in there and see how spicy that is or what kind of flavoring it has. And then I got potato chips with mine. The morita sauce is okay. It does add a decent flavor with a little bit of spice. But I noticed that Nana got like a chipotle ranch with her bowl. So I asked for a side because I really, really, really like chipotle ranch. And I think it's gonna add even more flavor to my burrito. So we'll see. Here's the aftermath. I didn't eat my plate tonight. Well, there's that. Ty is eating the rest of my chips and he devoured all of his pretzel bites. So he ate his plate too. The chips and cheese dip, of course, took a toll. Chad got uh, bit by the I ate too many chips bug. So he, he made a pretty good dip to his. And then Nana really liked her chicken bowl. So she's taking the rest of it home with her. But all in all, Senior Frogs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. It was good. Hey, everybody. Now that we're back in the car really quickly, just a final breakdown of Senior Frogs. Uh, food was very good. Everybody enjoyed what we had. Um, pricing, it's about what everything else is around here. Maybe a notch more expensive. Um, the one big letdown right now is they don't really have a store so they they don't have merch to they speak kind of, of to really sell and the university of frog something well but they weren't selling anything like you the the workers had their stuff that they were wearing but there wasn't like a store and oh. when i think senior frogs that's what i think it's almost like pineapple willies down here which we'll go to in a couple days it, it, at least in my mind i think of the merchandise so hopefully that's something that they'll be adding on they were building um, and adding on to the back of the restaurant. So again, it is fairly new. It hasn't been around here very long. So maybe that's coming. At our destination for this evening's adventure and fun, we are at Cobra Adventure Park. They have a slingshot. Ties gritty. They have a slingshot that we will not be doing. Um, we are going to be doing uh, some putt putt. And then right behind us, they do have a whole building for an arcade. So we will head in there and check that out as well. But first we're gonna come over here and we are gonna see about playing some golf. So Smuggler's Cove Golf, as you can see, we are right here on the strip and most of the course runs along yeah, we the are side. Yeah, they have something more dangerous. They've got a couple of 
wild yeah. rides here okay that we will not be trying but uh pricing here very 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 good and reasonable i do not know why it's fogging up like that um adults twelve dollars each kids ten um but yeah what stinks is kids are four to eight so nine. ty is just barely a kid still nine but through. it was very very reasonable compared nine to some places whatever. i am number three i just want to go on record as saying no way in the world. No way. Absolutely not. They got a Beware of Gators sign here at the water. So there may be some Florida Gators in this water here by the course, right by Moylan Road. Shout out to Braves great legend Peter Moylan. But yeah. We got the Sea Witch ship right in front of us there. We made it to hole four. So this is neat. Hole number five takes oh, us up yours. onto the ship. You gotta check yours. The only reason I probably know that is my- So there's Ty. Ten. Hole in two. So we are on the Sea Witch. Pretty neat. Is this actually kind of digging a ship this? that's in like pirates? No. Is the name? Yep. They need some sails to hoist. Tide just nailed a hole in one. I wasn't one filming one. yet. Yep, they do have a rough, if you can make it out. A darker shade of green there that's rough. But we got down off the ship and we're into this old town we'll area like for theming. No, nope. Chad's a little off, but yay for Ty. He had a hole in one last night. He's got a hole in one tonight. In case you're curious here at Hook's Fish Market, they got everything under the sun, seafood you could want, fish, crab, squid, clams, octopus, shark, urchin, and eel. So something for everybody. It's Yertle, guys. Yertle the turtles out here on the golf course with us. Oh, Chad says it's Franklin. I'm gonna say it's Yertle. We got another little pool out here. Are there actual gators in this one? And then we're gonna go upstairs for the next hole, which looks really, really neat, honestly, if that's it. We'll find out when we get up there. But pretty, the decor here is pretty, pretty darn neat. I like it. It's a rail! Yep. This is hole nine no up here on the steps. It goes it off and ends up down there. So don't hit it hard, Ty. Uh... Yes! Wait, hold on, hold on. Dang it. Oh, there's a hole there. Oh, wait. Right there. There's a hole that Ty, Ty found. I'm not using the hole. That That's like sneaky, a sneaky. Line. Oh, Dang. also, they were just playing Georgia on my mind. It's making me feel nostalgic. Yeah, I'm not using it. Let's see how Chad does here. I'm not using the hole. Rehit. Or do I have to hit it? We're out here in front of the jailhouse now. No, this is the trombone. Is anybody in there? No, but they could be. Man. Yeah, Chad's in jail. I broke out. That's the easiest jail to break out of. I got another open door on the side. Well, these poor fellers are just hanging around. I know. Old Billy Bag of Bones and nobodies. No, 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 no. They just chilling. Meanwhile, right row. I went up the hill and down the hill. And not quite up the hill. Stop, stop. And a little too much. Golf with Ty, guys. We are playing right next to beautiful golf course. You can see the green right there through the trees here on the week of the Masters. Hole 16, we're here at Alex's Provisions. You can see, lucky, oh, if it'll focus, lucky, me and Feta better found this here cannon. Yeah, straight out of the monster mansion back home. Can't 
can't see a cannon and not say that. Stay out of the marsh. And then the harbor master's office is right there. And Chad just sunk one. Good job, Chad. Chad's first hole in one of the trip. Walking over to the arcade now. Ty, you can just pretend we're at Volcano Bay, buddy. We'll pretend that big volcano is Vol the Volcano. And we're headed in. Here's the final scorecard for tonight's play. Chad and Ty tying with a 51 and I had a 44, even though I'm the only one that did not have a hole in one anyway. Chad playing the ticket grabber. This is how he won a ball last night. Oh, unlucky. Ty over here is playing some SpongeBob game. No, it took it, Ty. No, we had the ball. Oh, are you getting more? I go and I film Ty, and on his second turn, Chad gets 100 tickets. People think those things are scams. They're not when it comes to me. He and Ty, Ty but especially Chad, have become masters of the claw. It's very impressive. I hate it that I did not get that. I was going crazy here at SpongeBob. I don't know how he's doing this, but. Give me my coin. That's the question. Nothing. Hey, Ty's giving it a go on another claw machine. This one has 150 and 225. I don't know, tonight. Let's go, Gio. There's a 3 7. This is your chance. You got 16 seconds. I'm just going. He got 150. He just started off winning. Good job, Ty. Ty, try it. Tell me why he wants this. You hold it and until we take it up to the to over there. Okay. Chad's going to give it a go on this one. I mean, I have 13 credits. What, how, many, how much is he going to go for? Keith, look on the side and you can see exactly where it is. I'll take a hundred. Oh, it dropped it. Oh, oh unlucky. Jess, I promise I didn't tell him to do this one. So if he comes home with a gigantic ball, I'm sorry. Did he get it? No. Is he coming up with a gigantic ball? Is it gonna go the whole way? With two claws! Is it with gonna two. Oh, 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 oh. Ty, That's two that in a row. Give it one more shot. Two in a row. I give it one more shot. The ticket it's machine and this not. one. It might be a good take. No, I'm going for that green one in the back. Can he, he do it? Can he do it? Here we go, folks. Why is doing the same thing? That's it. This one looks. Oh. Okay, final credit. Back to the big money, no whammies ticket machine. What's it gonna go for? Yeah, I'm not going for that. Yeah, I'm going. What are we gonna try for? I'm going for that 900. Oh wow, the green one. Oh, I see. And nothing. Womp womp. Oh, 
You're spinning your final one too? Because no. Ty still has 250 left. No. It's still walk up to one. Okay. Which one's Ty going to go for? Oh, are you going for that? Oh, you're going for the 900 too. I'm just hoping I get one. That's all. No, no dice. Oh. Well, wait, Ty, we can combine these. Ty's okay. doing ski ball for his last one here. Let Chad do it with him. Ty? You can do this two more times or is that all of them? Wait, how many tickets do I do? All right, here's the loop. We got a bouncy ball. Okay. We got some suckers. Okay. And a they got, hit. Laffy got taffy. lots of banana laffy taffy, <laughs> some tootsie rolls, and Ty got himself a blue raspberry fun dip. So lots of candy ball. and a ball Ooh. for Ty. Ooh, so now they both have bouncy balls. So fun trip out here to Vol the Volcano and the Cobra Amusement Park right here on uh, Front Beach Road. So come give it a try. Really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today. Cobra Adventure Mini Golf, super fun. Both boys really enjoyed that as well, of course, as the arcade. Um, this is just, you know, you know, one of many nights of putt-putt and arcades that we did on this trip. Senior Frogs, that food was fantastic. It was really, really good. Like I mentioned, just a little overpriced, as you kind of would expect with a tourist trap like that. Really hoping that they'll add on a store similar to what Pineapple Willie's has down there um, because I don't see a big comeback value for a family like ours to a location like that um, without potential merchandise or something else pulling us back there. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below as it goes a long way to help our channel. If you have any questions, comments, shout outs you want to give, please let us know down below. We love interacting with you guys. And if you're not subscribed yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this and want to see more similar vlog content. We've got a little bit of everything on our channel and we're trying to hit our goal of 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you so much for those of you tuning in. We truly appreciate it. And until next time, what's your why?